This video is going to be all about revolvers that all had unique designs and features that made them stand out from other firearms of their time. They were popular among various groups of people, including gamblers, outlaws, soldiers, and civilians, and played a significant role in shaping the history of the Wild West. Number 1. Apache Revolver The Apache Revolver, also known as the Apache Knuckle Duster, was one of the most unique and bizarre revolvers of the Wild West era. It was a combination of a knuckle duster and a single shot pistol with a small blade attached to the end of the frame for close combat. The Apache revolver was popular among gamblers, outlaws, and anyone who needed a compact and powerful weapon for a close quarters combat. It was designed to be easily concealed in a pocket or under clothing, making it a favorite among those who needed to keep a low profile. The revolver featured a six round cylinder that was loaded by removing the barrel and cylinder assembly. Then, inserting the cartridges into the chambers, the trigger guard was integrated into the knuckle duster handle, which provided a firm grip and allowed for quick and accurate shooting in close quarters. The design of the Apache revolver was inspired by the French Apache gangs who were notorious for Belgium in the late 1800s and was later imported to the United States where it gained popularity among criminals and law enforcement alike. Despite its small size, the Apache revolver was a powerful weapon that could deliver a lethal blow at close range. It was often used in saloon brawls, street fights, and other situations where quick and decisive action was necessary. The revolver's unique design also made it a collector's item, and today it's highly sought after by gun enthusiasts and collectors alike. While not as well known as some of the other revolvers of the Wild West era, the Apache revolver remains an important part of the history of firearms of the American West. Number 2. Lamat Revolver the Lamette revolver is a unique firearm that was designed by a French-American gunsmith named Jean-Alexandre Lamette during the American Civil War. It was initially produced for use by the Confederate Army, but it was also used by Union soldiers and civilians. What makes the Lamette revolver stand out from other guns of its time is that it has a secondary barrel underneath the main barrel, which was used to fire a shotgun shell. This made the Lamat revolver a versatile weapon that could be used for both close quarters and long-range shooting. The gun was also equipped with a 9-shot cylinder for its main barrel, making it capable of sustained fire without needing to reload. The Lamat revolver was favored by some Confederate officers, including General J.E.B. Stewart, who carried one during his famous ride around Union forces in 1862. It was also used by the famous outlaw John Wesley Hardin, who was said to have killed a man with a single shot from the Lamat revolver. Despite its unique features and popularity during the Civil War era, the Lamat revolver was not without its flaws. The shotgun barrel had limited range and accuracy, and the gun was quite heavy, making it difficult to wield for extended periods. Additionally, the gun was expensive to produce, and only around 2,500 were ever made. Today, the Lamat revolver is a popular collector's item among firearms enthusiasts, and it's even made appearances in popular culture, including in movies and video games. Its unique design and place in history make it a fascinating piece of firearms technology that continues to capture the imagination of those interested in the Wild West era. Number 3. Coltow's Pistol the Coltown's pistol was a unique and innovative firearm that was designed for personal defense and concealed carry. It was first introduced in 1871, and it quickly became popular among civilians and law enforcement officers alike. The Coltown's pistol was a double-action revolver that featured a hinged frame that could be swung open to load and unload the cylinder. This made it easy to reload quickly and efficiently, which was a critical advantage in a self-defense situation. The pistol was also relatively small and lightweight, which made it easy to carry and conceal. One of the most interesting features of the Colt House pistol was its loading gate, which was located on the side of the frame rather than on the rear of the cylinder. This allowed for faster reloading and made it possible to load and unload the revolver without having to remove it from the holster. The Colt House pistol was chambered for the .41 caliber rimfire cartridge, which was relatively powerful for its size. The pistol had a 6 round cylinder and a 2.5 inch barrel, which made it accurate at short ranges. The Colt House pistol was marketed as a personal defense weapon and was often used by civilians for protection against outlaws and bandits. It was also popular among law enforcement officers who needed a reliable and compact revolver for their daily duties. One of the most famous users of the Colt House pistol was the legendary lawman Wyatt Earp, who carried one as his backup gun during his time as a sheriff in Dodd City and Tombstone. Earp was known for its quick draw and sharpshooting skills, and the Colt House pistol was a perfect fit for its style of law enforcement. In addition to its use by the law enforcement and civilians, it was also used by the military during the Indian Wars of the late 19th century. It was issued to cavalry units and was used by soldiers as a secondary weapon. Number 4. Ethan Allen Pepper Box Revolver 
The Ethan Allen Pepperbox Revolver is a unique and interesting revolver from the Wild West era. It was named after its designer, Ethan Allen, who was a well-known gunsmith in the 19th century. The revolver was produced between 1837 and 1871 and was popular among civilians and law enforcement officials alike. The Pepperbox Revolver was a unique design in that it featured multiple barrels, typically six, all arranged in a circular pattern around a central axis. This gave the revolver a distinctive look and also made it a more reliable weapon than other revolvers of the time, as it was less prone to misfires. The revolver was also relatively small and easy to conceal, making it a popular choice for personal defense. One of the most notable features of the Ethan Allen Pepperbox revolver was its double action trigger. This meant that the revolver could be fired by simply pulling the trigger without the need to cock the hammer first. This made the revolver faster and easier to use than other revolvers of the time, which typically required the shooter to manually cock the hammer before firing. It was produced in a variety of calibers, ranging from .22 to .36, this made it a versatile weapon that could be used for everything from target shooting to self-defense. The revolver was also relatively affordable, making it accessible to a wide range of people. In terms of its use in the Wild West, the Ethan Allen Pepperbox revolver was a popular choice among law enforcement officials, as it was reliable and easy to use. It was also a popular choice among civilians who needed a reliable and affordable weapon for personal defense. One of the most famous users of the Ethan Allen Pepperbox revolver was Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok was a legendary gunslinger who was known for his marksmanship and his love of gambling. He reportedly carried a pair of Pepperbox revolvers during his time as a lawman in Kansas and Nebraska. Ethan Allen Pepperbox revolver is a unique and interesting revolver from the Wild West era. Its multiple barrels, double action trigger, and affordability made it a popular choice among law enforcement officials and civilians alike. While it may not be as well known as some other revolvers of the time, such as the Colt Single Action Army, it played an important role in the development of the modern revolver and remains an important part of firearms history. Number 5. Remington 1858 New Model Revolver The Remington 1858 New Model Revolver was a popular firearm during the American Civil War and the Wild West era. It was known for its durability and reliability as well as its accuracy and ease of use. The revolver was designed by F. Beals, an engineer at Remington Arms Company, and was introduced in 1858. It had a six-shot cylinder and was chambered for .44 caliber rounds, which were more powerful than the .36 caliber rounds used in the other popular revolvers of the time. One of the unique features of the Remington 1858 was its loading mechanism. Unlike other revolvers that required the cylinder to be removed for reloading, the Remington had a top-mounted loading gate that allowed the user to load each chamber individually. The revolver also had a solid frame design, which made it more durable and able to withstand the rigors of heavy use. Its accuracy was improved by the use of a fixed rear sight and a blade front sight. The Remington 1858 new model revolver saw widespread use during the American Civil War, where it was used by both Union and Confederate forces. It was also popular among civilians, including ranchers, lawmen, and outlaws in the Wild West. The popularity of the Remington 1858 continued into the late 19th century, with many examples being sold to foreign governments and used in conflicts around the world. So, that's gonna do it guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.